What's up guys? How are we doing today? Very exciting day today, guys. We got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to do. It's been a, probably like two or three weeks since you've last seen the garden, the ups and the downs. Last time you guys uh, were here, I think we saw, I think we saw Blizz and Crispy, right? That was the last time they were here vibing with us. But other than that, it's been a couple a couple weeks. Well, we got some good stuff uh, to show you. The butternut squash is ready. I think we have another round of potatoes that are ready. A few cucumbers that are ready as well. We're going to be moving some tomato plants over to the garden beds. Oh, you're excited to see the sunflowers? Uh, fun fact, the groundhog likes to eat sunflowers. So the sunflowers are all not ready yet. <laughs> Woo. The uh, groundhog came back. Didn't do much, but it did dig some holes. So we, le we left a trap out yesterday. Left a, a trap out yesterday. Put some meat in there and some like veggies or whatever. Came back home. Came back home. And we caught something. But it wasn't the groundhog. It was a cute, fluffy raccoon. So we had to release the raccoon. And it was, it was, it was awesome it was super cute and not like you know scarce it wasn't like yelling or anything at all so we caught a raccoon on accident so we released it super cute and then this morning we wake up we wake up to our uh our camera that that's on the garden and we, we get a, we get a movement notification i'm like oh god what is it a massive fucking black bear huge black bear walks by our garden Dude, you guys see that shit? <laughs> Bro. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, show you guys a bunch of stuff. We're gonna actually show you the tomato plant that we found that was growing like in the woods that we replanted and relocated is actually kind of flourishing now, which is exciting. So we're gonna probably do that again with one of these tomato plants over here, because we have too many over here, and we're gonna put it in the garden bed and see what happens. And then I think we're also going to work on some food later. I think we're gonna grill some butternut squash with some like brown sugar, some sage, and have like a, uh, make some nice little like discs on the grill. Can I step on a crunchy leaf for you? Yeah, hold on, let me find one for you. A lot of these leaves don't seem that crunchy though. They seem kind of wet. Happy Wednesday, Chris and Chuck. Yeah, they're kind of like. One year and the shark, this might, this one might be nice, though. Okay, those are those are those are kind of good. So happy to have this be Pretty nice when screen. it comes to the crunch. Dude, the fall garden streams are gonna be fun too. We're gonna have special guests probably. We're gonna have different kind of vibes. It's gonna start to get you know different colors the colors will start to change probably get some gourds going some fall vegetables another thing that's cool um do you guys remember like i think our second or third garden stream we removed we, we, we moved the uh i think it was like the sweet peas because they weren't really growing and we put them in the garden beds and we just we figured we were like all right good luck those have actually shown some um some growth as well and and they're now doing decent so i'll show you guys those later also which is cool yeah, we're gonna let me, here, let me let me water some of these plants real quick. We also another another fun thing. We visited Shan's family this weekend, and they got us a bunch of garden stuff because uh, we haven't seen them since we got married, and they've been watching our YouTube videos of our garden. So they they got us like all this garden stuff, which is super cute. So we got like this giant basket for harvesting things, um, a bunch of like tools as well. So it was really fun. Shan's grandma, who's ninety five. Uh, watched our old other video and she was like, hey, who are those fellas that you were with? Because she doesn't know like our friends because like it, the, the, it's the internet. So Blizz and Crispy, she was like, who are those fellas? <laughs> Which is good. All right. Just gonna water some of these. These are our blueberry uh, plants that are kind of done, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? So water them just in case. Lavender. Tomatoes. Tomato plants are doing decent as well. 
This one, this one's growing super high. I don't think you can see all of it, but it's growing super, super high. Peppers over here. We actually have some really spicy peppers growing again too, which is super nice. The ones with like the stretch marks on them. So that'll be fun to see later. I'll show you guys, maybe try a bite of it because it's been growing for a minute now. Okay, that should be good for a little bit. These are our grapevines. These things are popping off right now, dude. No grapes yet though, unfortunately, but you know, one of these days we'll get some. But yeah, here are, uh, so these are the, uh, the black in indigo tomatoes. They're actually uh, doing pretty well. This one's kind of flat. We might move one of these to a bed actually, which is exciting. So we might move one of those to a bed. The shishito peppers are slowly but surely getting going as well. These are the ones we planted with Blizz and Crispy, so they're doing decent now. A lot of bell peppers going on in here. You can see that one right there. Uh, this guy, these guys, there's uh, some, I think some Hungarian waxes back there. And then this, I think, I don't know. Oh yeah, right here, look at this, dude. You can see like the, look at that. The stretch marks on those, that, that's gonna be really spicy. Very, very spicy. We also got some more longer peppers over there as well, which is cool. So we're probably gonna do something with that. Uh, over here we got some, look at this. This is our uh, tomato plant that Shan grew from seed and has grown all the way, all the way up to here. So this thing's going super, super high. Another tomato plant right there. Some more, uh, some more. So we're gonna maybe move some of these to a bed to see if it'll grow better. And we actually got, check this out, we crushed up some eggshells right here uh, to help grow and you know make the tomatoes stronger with the calcium and all that. So we'll probably plant those around as well, which is cool. Yeah, the bell peppers, these are all by seed. These are also by seed right here. And these things are fucking popping off. Yeah, so I, I, this, that's something I actually learned from chat. The stretch marks, I thought it was, I thought this was like sun damaged or ruined, but it actually indicates that it's going to be super spicy because it, it means it's been on there for a minute. That was something that Chad actually taught us. So if you guys ever have any information like that, it definitely helps. We don't move plants indoors when it rains, no, but Shan does have a whole bunch of stuff growing inside currently. Uh, that's where we're going to actually plant some stuff from inside. We have a few things that we want to bring out today. Some, some celery, some sweet peas some other uh, squash and stuff like that as well. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go to the garden now and show you guys what we got going on before we start harvesting stuff. Okay, so as you could tell, it, it looks a little different from last time you guys saw it because the groundhog did get in here and kind of like destroy a lot of things. This right here is the celery. So that's the celery that we have that's gonna be uh, getting grabbed today. We're gonna be grabbing some potatoes as well. Um, we have some cucumbers that are ready to go. We have these little cages that Shan's ants got us that are gonna help uh, protect the broccoli that we planted. The, and these are all new plants as well. These are squash, I believe. This is spaghetti squash for the fall right here, which is cool. Um, so we're gonna, you know, do some of that. Now this is, the, this is the exciting stuff, so check this out. So this, we haven't watered today, so they look a little wilted, but that's fine. But look at this. So these are the butternut squash. They are just growing anywhere they can, dude. They're growing literally anywhere. We have so many of these fucking things, dude. Look at this one. Look at this huge one right here. Look at that guy. I gave one to my dad the other day because we have so many. There's another one right there as well. Another one right there growing. A um, few more in here. They're huge, dude. Another one over there. That is a watermelon right there, I believe. Right there, look at that little guy. That's a watermelon that we got going on. Megan, if you want to share recipes, we're going to have so much butternut squash. So please share, feel free to share recipes in the Discord. <laughs> Dude, squash literally takes over. Um, you could tell that the groundhog got hungry and uh, was nibbling. Look at this. On the top of all the carrots, all of, like the little leaves are gone, which kind of sucks, but that, that's what happened. So all the little leaves are gone because the little <laughs> groundhog kind of had a field day and munched a lot of stuff. Luckily, it's not, it's not too bad, but it's definitely annoying. Um, and then all of the uh, sunflowers were also nibbled by this little guy. 
Oh yeah, butternut squash soup's amazing. Yeah, no, so we're also learning a lot too. Like this is our first time doing a garden. So next year we're gonna, we're gonna really uh, try to take advantage of spacing and we're gonna do different beds. We're gonna do a whole bunch of different stuff next year. Um, yeah. Hey babe. Can you turn the off? No, they're still there. Yeah, sorry. Shan's here, guys. Hello. Yay. Are they all off? I don't know which ones are on even. We're off. Uh, guys, these are beets right here. So the, the, the red, you can see like the red, there's a shadow, but the red like stems, that's, yeah, we're growing tomatoes. So this is the plant actually that we got with Crispy yeah, that we replanted right here. Look at this. Remember it was like kind of floppy. It's actually like doing super well right now. And uh, we're hoping that it'll uh, continue, which is cool. Here are the, dude, our cucumbers are actually popping off. There's, there's a cucumber right here. And this one is ready to go. Look how big that one is. Yeah. That one looks good. <laughs> that one might be our thickest one yet, which is cool. So that's good. And then I think we're going to grab some potatoes as well from this pile and then replant a bunch of stuff in that garden bed also. <laughs> that's the dream. We may do some pickles. Yeah, we might, we might make some more pickles with the recipe, but we also might uh, just eat the cucumbers regular too. We, yeah, because we have so many. The pickles were awesome. My dad, my dad we, gave him, we gave him two jars of the pickles because he loved them so much. Because we made so many. Um, but you can, you can tell like... Oh, look, it's a little toad. Oh, we got a toad. Hey, baby. Look. We got a, a frog. Look at him. Tiny. Where is he? I'm gonna put him in the in the bed. Okay. Come on, baby. Little frog guy. It's okay. Oh, there! Oh, look at that little guy. Oh. There, <laughs> there he is. There he is, dude. I love frogs. They're so cute. It's a toad, baby. Toad, whatever. Same thing. Hey. Kind of similar vibes. Tell the toad that. One thing that uh, chat. I'm curious if anyone has any. Uh, he peed on me. He peed on you? Yeah. Question for you guys, and if anyone knows this. Our, our uh, onions aren't really doing too hot. And I don't know if we just didn't grow them right or if like, it's just like they're kind of tough at times, but we had onions that like, I feel like just didn't grow correctly for whatever. The onions might have root, root rot or worms nibbling under, oh, okay. That's probably what happened then. That's probably what happened. Because we had uh, a few of them just didn't take off correctly. We didn't transplant the onions. No, they were, they were already growing. Uh. This, I think this plant's pretty much done. So once we harvest this, we should get rid of this. cucumber, yeah. I'm ripping the plant out of there. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it. Why, just twist it. Twist it's it? it's okay. the fun, fun of it. There See, it is. so much fun. So there's fun, one, guys. Right? <laughs> and the little spikes on it, you have to like rub it off. What up, front page? This is a cucumber. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, was that a lantern <laughs> You shit. Ah, oh, mother. Oh my a god, it landed fly. right on my leg. I'm killing another one. Guys, so we have lantern. Get out of here. We have lantern flies. They're invasive and they uh, take over Sorry. and they're really bad for your garden. So you have to kill them, unfortunately. Sorry, it landed on my leg. It scared me. And then I saw another one. And I killed that one. So one kill today. And they're very pretty, but it sucks. But they are like truly terrible. They eat everything in the garden, so they have to die. Um, I killed already five this morning, so yeah. I'm on six. Research them. They're wild. Um. No, it's a, it's a spotted lanternfly. Yeah, it, the, the plant is done, so I wanted to take the cucumber out before it started getting bad. Look at so this that's one. why. We just like, got that's, this one. that's what it's supposed to look like. That is a freaking. That's, that's got to be our biggest one yet, I think. Maybe. Look at that. That thing's crazy. I think we had a little bit of a longer one, but. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, it looks great. That's a strong one. All right. Yeah, I, get a de I, count, I have a death count every day for um, yeah. lanternflies. Yeah, so then I'll rip this plant out because this one's done. Because so we'll it, it's just sick and. and Shan bad. grabbed her fennel the other day as well. Yeah, look, do, do you see what he did here? It ate all the top of my fennel. So now I don't think these are going to be good, so I'm just going to have to harvest you them. You need to water the, uh, this as well at some point. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Um, I, oh, here. Here, I'll do this one. Can with, I grab a butternut squash? Yeah, one sec. You have to use the big clippers. Okay. I'm getting this lemon cucumber. Not Donnie the Thornberry, yeah, pretty much. There we go. There we go. Look at that. So guys, those are lemon cucumbers. They're really good. They're just regular cucumbers, but like shaped like lemons. Yeah, here you go. Okay. I put individual cages around our newly planted broccoli and cauliflower because the woodchuck loves them. Yeah, 
I'm gonna grab this. Huh? I'm gonna grab this squash. Don't come, don't, don't come too close. Oh, because it'll. Uh, uh, are you sure that one's done? It's, this, is, this is the first one we had, so I think it's ready. Okay, yeah, yeah, do it. All right, we're gonna see from here Chris harvesting a butternut squash. Oh, I gave you the big clippers, babe. Whoa. This one's probably better. So this one's small, but Look. it's super thick. Oh, it's our first baby. And this is the first one that was growing. So Look at it. There's that. Really nice. It's, look, feel how strong, like, strong it is. That one's ready. Oh, yeah. And then we'll get one more, I think. Let's see. Uh, there's a bigger, there's a big one there's over one here. Ready. Yeah, wait, let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Right? Yeah. Or that one. Or is that one? That um, that one's newer. That was there yeah, longer, maybe? Oh. You check by, here, 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 here. Oh, You sorry. check by putting your, seeing if you put your nail in it or something, he says. Okay. Yeah, Whoa. Look at that. That's, I, uh, that was another lantern fly. It touched me. You shit. Sorry. Look at that. There we go. Don't like you. The beads are looking nice. Look at it. It's right there. Yeah. Get out of here. Go away. We here. don't like you here. Get out of here. Can I get it? No, I'm not fast enough. Wait, maybe I am. No, I'm not. Got it. <laughs> All right. What am I on? Like six or seven today? There you go. Uh, there's another cucumber right there as well. Um, I don't know. Let's check. Look at the plant that it's on. If it's on this unhealthy one. Oh, no. Eh. We, okay. we might have a few more days with that to okay. grow a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. So that's good. Uh, anything else that we, th we can start growing, um, think? Yeah, I said uh, maybe a f some carrots. I don't know. Should we do the carrots? It's like some of them to like spread it out a little. I'm, I'm down. We also just as a test to see how they're doing. Because this this looks a little crowded. Yeah, like maybe Take, one of these. Careful, careful. Oh, they're all they're all growing together. Okay, maybe just leave them then. Okay. Yeah. Um, the 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 woodchuck really messed it all up. Look, he ate all the tops. Yeah. No look There's no. Um, I don't think there's anything that eats the lantern flies. That's why it's bad. Because yeah, because they're so new. And they are sap suckers, so they kill full trees. Yeah, the birds thing is that's doesn't work. You literally have to kill them by hand. Um, yeah, he he ate all my so that's a, this is all weeds, but sunflower, sunflower. Look at it. And then I had two completely bloomed sunflowers gone. Ate the whole thing. That beet is like popping out. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Is that ready? Maybe we should put. I think you're supposed to. Put, I don't think it's supposed to be out like that. Yeah, it's like. It's like, it's, like, it's like saying, hey, guys. I'll fix it later. Okay. Um, okay, so <laughs> harvest that, that. Oh, the celery. So how are we going to do how, how do you, you just pull the whole, Just pull the whole thing pull out. Pull the whole thing out? Yeah. Because we're not going to get more out of that. I'm, I'm done. I want to move the plant anyway. Okay. So I'll just take it out. It's like this? There's an article about people feeling bad for lanternflies. That's silly. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoa. Oh, they're, they're tiny. They're cute. So I grew this celery from a celery plant we bought at the grocery store for like a meal. And it was cut, you know? And then I just replanted it, and this is what came out of it. It actually looks super nice. Yeah. Whoa. That smells, smells good. Like celery, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Cool, so now we now we can just eat that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. That grew pretty easily, I feel like. It's a whole other celery plant for free. Um, should we try doing potatoes too right now? Uh, I don't... No, if they're ready. ready. Are you sure? Yeah. They're supposed to be dying the top part. Yeah, they are. Or you just want to get them out of here. Well, they also, they're, they're, they're part of the same batch that we got, that we got from the other one, so they're going to be ready. The okay. All right. Good. All right. Chad, do you want to see potatoes, yes or no? Uh, here, you, where's the little raker? Rake. Get the rake out. Okay. What are they saying? Do they want, do they want to see potatoes? They just say yes. They just say yes. Ah! Wait, I'm, I'm coming over it. Oh man, the sun is hot today. Okay. I love that get... you just leave tools on the ground. Do you want to get close? Yes. <laughs> I know. Excuse you, sir. This thing's just going everywhere. It's oh. a little unhappy right now. See, it's getting droopy, so it needs water. Oh, don't bend it like that oh, too sorry. much. It's just in but the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's kind of in the way. Okay. <gasps> oh! Ow! Oh my god, I almost dropped the iPad. That would have been good. It's too heavy. It's not heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. 
<laughs> Sorry. Little rake time. We don't need a big one because there's not going to be much in there. There's one? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I think you could pull the whole plant out, right? Oh. Oh what? my oh. god. Wow. Whoa. Oh, careful. Look at that worm. Should I find a hole for it? Here, go on. Go in here. Go in the hole. Is that it? Wow, it's pretty. Go on, get in there. Oh, here we are. Oh, there's a, there's there's a, a bunch down here. Look, I made a hole for it. It's going in there. You know what this reminds me of? Like, uh, harvesting potatoes. You know when you get those like things as a kid with the sand and the rocks and the like dinosaur bone things? Yeah. You have to dig through. That's kind of what it is. Yeah. yeah. That's a decent amount so far. The worm is not... No, no. Get away, ant. Don't hurt my worm. Here, I'll just put stuff on top of it. Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going somewhere else. That might be. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Connection's a little choppy. All right, so this is what we got so far, guys, which is pretty cool. We got the two cucumbers. We got... And this one. Um, and that one as well. Mm -hmm. Got the butternut squash, which is looking good. We got, I th what is that? That's, that? I think that's a potato, I mean, a tomato plant that we might. Oh yeah, I'm gonna move that. These are these are your the things you just got. Uh, yeah, I think that might be the final potato haul, which is not the the most, but it's <laughs> decent. We wanted, we kind of wanted to just get, get it out of there. Yeah. Celery. And then that's the celery as well, which I'm excited for. The celery's gonna be really tasty. So should I be moving one of these plants too? Uh, I think, yeah, I think we should probably. Which one, the one on the right or the left? One of the right's flapping over. I think we should probably move the one on the right because it's tall and I think it might flourish more with like a trellis. Okay. Because right now that it's just competing with the other one. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that one out. Cool. Have you guys grown food that you hate but then grew to like? Um, I, I think it's too early to tell to be honest. Because I feel like we've we've grown some things that like, m maybe like some of the peppers like I wasn't like crazy about at first, but like I'm starting to get to like like them more. Favorite thing to grow? Um, we've been uh. I honestly, I, cucumbers are pretty easy and they're and they're always tasty. The carrots are fun. Uh, onions are cool. Tomatoes, like everything we've been growing, we've been happy with. I'm excited to try these butternut squash that we have right here because th this is our first time uh, grabbing them. So we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, so that's. So we actually bought this plant because I was, tomatoes weren't working really well. Yeah. So I got it. It's it's a mortgage lifter tomato. There it is. Which is a funny name. Yeah, so we're going to replant that in the garden. Yeah, we're going to replant that out there. As well. Yeah, so we're um, we're going to get the grill going in a little bit and work on some butternut squash. We have a recipe that we're going to uh, try. We've, we've done a bunch in the past where we come into cubes and you put them in the oven and stuff with like oil and, you know, brown sugar. I think we're going to try doing like, like uh, circles, I guess. I don't know what the word is, like discs. Like cut them into like, almost like cucumbers kind of. Well, that's nice looking. One year. That is nice looking. Also, look at, look at her cool tats. I took my rings off because the garden. There yeah. you go. I can't believe we grew this thing. I know. And then we're going to cut the top and the bottom, cut them into slices. I can't believe I didn't know the word slice in my brain. <laughs> Should we do like the discs? Like the... Yeah. Okay. I, th I think that's what the recipe calls for. Yeah, we could, well, we could kind of do whatever. I think those will be the best on the grill. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, I'm going to grab some of these uh, peppers, I think. Oh, okay. Come here. Do you have the clipper? You have to use the clipper. Uh, yeah, let me grab a clipper. Okay. Grilling and chilling. So I think this guy's ready. Right here. Look at that. That's nice. That guy's nice. This reminded me of your jalapenos and habaneros. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that guy. Aren't these pretty? Got any ancient fruit? <laughs> yeah. 
Like, that, that's just so nice. I think this guy's probably ready to actually. Let me grab that. Look at this, guys. Would you say that's a, a gold star? Yeah, Stephanie, thanks for the sub. Gold star, iridium quality, what do you think? It's pretty, pretty decent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a quick sniff, guys, if you don't mind. Yes, Lidaby, absolutely. Oh my God. Mm. Whoa, okay. it's, it smells sweet as hell. Holy. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna cut the tops off and do slices, right? Yeah. What's up? Um, sh should we should we try the celery, like a crunch of it? Oh yeah, let's bring it in here. Let me wash it. Okay. And then I'll also try the um, the the onion. I also want to try uh, one of these peppers. Okay. Chat, we're gonna try the celery real quick, and we're also gonna try we're gonna try one of these uh these peppers. This this one's been out for a minute, so like the the lines on them are super thick. But yeah, we got celery right here. Probably, probably gold quality as well, I would say. All right, guys, I'm going to cut some of this butternut squash real quick, too. Yeah, John, we are growing cilantro, actually. We are. What are, what are you going to prepare for the, uh, for the fall? We have a few, uh, we have some squash that we're doing. Oh, that's, that's, that, that's about right, I feel like. That's probably solid. Oh, that's going to be nice. You want to get them like nice like that kind of like not too thick but enough where it'll chill on the grill Ooh, salsa could be cool john actually yo we're growing spaghetti squash casey we actually have some in the garden that we're growing right now nice medallion for sure thanks man we're currently growing spaghetti squash for the fall uh we've i, I would have liked to have done pumpkins but i think once we have a better setup, I think next year, guys, our garden's going to be, like, ten times better because we're going to actually have it, like, thought out more. This one was kind of, like, not rushed, but we it was our first time doing it, you know? Uh, Shan, what, what are the thoughts on seeds? Uh, we're going to scoop them out. Okay. So here, I'll give you a big spoon. So these ones have seeds, so we got to get those out of there. Gonna, you gotta cut them out or scoop them out. Yeah, Michaela, very, very haphazard, yeah. Can you tilt the camera a, a little lower? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Kingly, yeah, we, we just use water. Water is kind of the big thing. Like, uh, and, and then our sink inside. Uh, and what? Vinegar. To wash? Yep. And, she also use, and we also use vinegar to wash. Fun fact, just, just found that out just now. Some bugs getting over here. Fuck off. Any cilantro haters in chat? Okay, that's probably fine. Ooh. Th these are looking nice. Is this Aries Kitchen? Kind of. Okay, so I'm going to give you Kay. these. Okay. I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to take slices okay. away you didn't want the toppers are you supposed to eat the top too no I'm okay all right <laughs> chat we're gonna try real quick we're gonna try this fresh homegrown celery and see the difference in taste ready okay oh my god it's like spicy <laughs> whoa because it's like strong that's really strong actually whoa you hear that bird? It's like bitter. Oh man. It's not spicy, but it's like it's a lot of flavor. You know how celery usually tastes like just water? <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. Wow, we that's interesting. You didn't want to cut the rest of this? No, come and do this. Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna try this one now. That's what really that's what real celery tastes like. Holy shit. That's wild, dude. All right. Celery here. Is my water out here? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, God, I can smell it. Get, get it away from the butternut. Oh! 
It's still fine. I dropped it. It's fine. I don't even I'm care. I'm sorry. It's fine. It will cook it up. We'll cook the weirdness off of it. I dropped it. She dropped the squash. It's fine. All right. Now we're going to try, guys, this spicy uh, pepper and see how it goes. Bottoms up. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Spicy? What happened? Oh, it's so spicy. Really? Don't oh. touch anything. Don't. You need to wash your hands. Why? <laughs> Why are we growing that? <laughs> my mouth is numb. Bite the spice. What do I do? Can I have some, I'll get, can I have some bread? Does that work? I don't know if bread works. Whoa! You guys hear that hawk? Who heard that? Get rid of this stuff and then wash your hands. Because I don't want to, I don't want that anywhere. If there. I ate that whole pepper, I would have died. Oh, I you're think. yelling. Sorry. <laughs> can you not hear with the spice? Citrix or citrus, citrus alcohol will help. My I mouth is still numb. I don't know if that's a... Is that fake? Should, should you get rid of this? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so pretty, though. Okay, so... Okay. Get, get it together. Sorry. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, make a hole. If you can, make a hole here. We're going to break up the soil. Oh, there's fucking 20 of them. All right. Get we'll, right here. We'll worry about it later. Hole here? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't think there's anything there. Careful of the baby broccoli. Okay. There's a baby broccoli. I'm trying to... Uh, Make this so the sun is covering it. In a way. Okay, this. Uh, All right, I have an I have an idea. Okay. So oh. try to break up the soil so it's not so. Um, what's the word? Rough. Yeah. I got you. Clumpy. Solid. Yes. Hard. Sure. Chad like. Okay. All right, I think this will work. Okay, perlite and all this other shit now. Yeah. The deeper is probably better because we're gonna put a, okay. What? Nothing. Oh my God. Perlite's Ah, your butt. What do you mean my butt? Your butt hit me in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help my, my, my dumpers going. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, are we doing two separate uh, holes? Two separate holes. Ah! Oh, sorry. I I need to not yell so loud. Eh, you're Shan. That's what you do. Sorry. Uh, no, we're just gonna throw that one there for now. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So this is the uh, mortgage lifter. The mortgage lifter. Uh. <laughs> <gasps> All right, I'm done. <laughs> ah! Sorry. You bring uh, the eggs out here? Yes, sir. We're gonna sprinkle some of our crushed eggshells. The finest eggshells on this side of the Mississippi. You could crush them up even more. They're kind of big. Mod, change it to ASMR uh, pools and hot tubs if you can. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Sounds kind of nice though. Is it good? We're good? Mm hmm. Okay. I got my overalls from Old Navy. Put a little calcium in the ground. There we go. Crushed eggshells, yeah. Calcium in the, in the. Should I put these anywhere else? Like. Uh, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna plant another tomato. Oh yeah. All right, so where should we put the other tomato plant, huh? 
Maybe in the center there behind it, because there's no fennel there or anything there anymore. Or should we put it, but yeah, but the, but the second it's gonna, where's it gonna grow? To nothing? You have poles behind you. Right? You have poles behind you? You have poles behind you. You okay, can put a pole fine. wherever you want. This is, this is your landscape. Thank you. Oh, slugs don't like eggshells. Oh, good to know. Interesting. Oh, yeah. snails love them. Okay, well, now I'm getting... Well, Shan, lo Shan loves snails, Now too. I'm getting two conflicting stories here. <laughs> you gotta decide. Do they love them or they hate them? Snails and slugs are, are pretty... They're a little different, but pretty similar? One's kind of one's kind of rocking the shell. One's not really. Yeah. Try to break up the soil as much as you can, though. I know. I went really deep with the with the poker one. Here, this guy. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Slugs were snake naked snails. We are we are re relocating a uh, tomato plant that we had been growing on our deck just to give it a better maybe chance of life. A <laughs> better life. I'm holding. Okay, so I'm gonna do this here. This might work. Oh, look, babe. That's nice. So it doesn't even need a thing yet because it's a baby. Yeah. And then there's a little sign for it. This is a beef tomato. A beef tomato? What does that even mean? I don't know. You sound like. I said Steinfeld. Very Steinfeld over here. Okay. More soil. Nice soil. Okay. We'll, we'll water them uh, in a little bit Beef. after after we're done with Any other? Uh... Uh, yep. So we're gonna do some celery. So where should we do that? Should we just do some at the front here? Yeah. See the celery where, where, we, where we had it initially. It actually looks kind of cool with the basket. <laughs> oh, I could take this away. Cause someone ate it all. Aww. They're like we're like a kid in the shopping cart. Look at these. Oh wow. Okay, well I mean we could use those. Yeah, definitely. There's another potato right here. Here, whatever you find. You can put here. This is supposed to be garlic, but nothing's even coming up, and I don't even know if it's gonna. Gourds. We're doing gourds and spaghetti squash over here. That looks like a leaf. There's a ton of little potatoes over here. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh. Ah! What? What? Massive worm again. Oh, Chris. Look how big that thing is. It's fucking Spirit thick. Me. Oh, wow, that is a big one. So we're gonna plant, so I'm gonna change this out because I have a different, oh, there's no date on that. Like a celery? Yeah, so maybe we'll do celery here. Oh, maybe we should break up the soil first here. Where cool. are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? What is this? Is this garlic or this is garlic? It's garlic. <gasps> Whoa! This is oh. this is garlic from the other people, I think. Cause we never planted garlic over here. Here, you can put it in the. Here. What the hell? We didn't do that. Yeah. This is, and there's a ton of these little spring onions too. Yeah. Those we remember we made one the other day. <gasps> oh, a toad! Dude, garlic. Hi, little toady. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. Shan, there's so much garlic growing here. Okay, okay. Is it ready yet, or are you just... I don't know, but there's a ton of it randomly. All right. But we didn't plant it. Okay. Six months! Oh. It's a double oh. for a oh. in for years. Holy there's, no, there's no stuff on top, so maybe it's, like, done. Yeah, I don't want to step on the toad. Get out of here. Where are you? You look like the dirt. You look like... That's so random. Sure. So I started these inside. We'll see if they work. But I have... Three lettuce, trying them again if the woodchuck doesn't eat them. And then I'll put two of the celery out because these three aren't really ready yet. So right here, you see that, see that, that tall thing that's growing all the way up? That's the, th those are the sweet peas that were dead that we replanted with you guys on our first stream. So those are actually thriving now, which is super exciting. So those are doing good. Um, that little yellow guy right there, that's a baby watermelon. That's going to be probably ready in the next couple weeks, which I'm super excited to try. So that watermelon's gonna be good. Got a few more butternut squash that are gonna be ready in the next couple weeks as well. Shan's over here 
uh, next to the beach. She's replanting, I think it looks like some lettuce. some lettuce now. So guys, these are the random things that we found in the ground before. We found this onion. Oh, that just dropped. The, all these onions right here, like these spring onions. I think that, look at these, look at these little, these little baby uh, gar garlics as well. So we have some oh, garlics, little cloves, another onion. That's pretty cool. Dude, it literally is the hungriest groundhog. It e it's eaten all of our sunflowers. It's munched on all of our lettuce, our oh, kale. Insurance? It goes through them. It doesn't yeah. Matter. We have a trap and it ignores the trap. I put cayenne pepper and all this stuff that it doesn't like and it still goes through it. Has the garden changed the way you guys think about food? Yeah. Uh, it makes us really question like grocery store, like vegetables. Like we still buy them from, that, from, from time to time, but ideally in the next few years, we'd like to be self-sufficient with our vegetables, I think, because knowing where you're getting it and knowing that you're growing it yourself, it, I think is so much better and so much tastier than just buying it from the store because you don't really know what the fuck they're putting on any of your stuff. So like yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to get the, uh, the grill going as well. We're going to grill the butternut squash we just planted or that we just got. Um, I'm going to, once I set this up, I'm going to go inside and heat up the butter. Butter, sage, crushed red pepper. Um, I got sage from the garden uh, that was previously growing here um, and washed it, dried it out a little bit, and it's going to be cooked in with the butter. Uh, and yeah, so I have to go heat that up right now. And we're going to put that and brown sugar on the butternut squash and then put it on the grill. Has to get to 450. Okay. Just so you know. I'm curious about like these garlic cloves though. Should I try biting one of these? Oh hello. Uh oh. We got a visitor. Oh, we got a visitor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh why is it why? Is... Who's this guy? Hey. Hey. Wow, really nice. Wow, really good. Really good. Hello. This dog comes over here all the time. It's our neighbors, Hi. and just like stares at us. It's so funny. I think his name is Bailey. Look at that. <laughs> Hi. Really, really. Look, look how happy they are. Is it a boy or is it a boy, right? Boy, I think, yeah. Hey, Bailey. 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 Up here. Looking at the recipe. Up here. Whoa. That's not a cat, that's a dog. <laughs> Holy. Cool. Now that is a big dog. Hey. Up here, up. Who is this dog? <laughs> no, you can't come in. It's, it, it sometimes comes over here and falls asleep outside of our, our door. I want to try a bite of this garlic and see if it's tasty. Get a load of that guy. <laughs> Get a load of that guy. <laughs> Well, you never know what's gonna happen on the garden streams, guys. Should I should I try, guys, a little bit of this fresh, secret, surprise garlic and see how it tastes? Here. Here's 
Interesting. Bad or good? I don't know. I feel like it still needed more time, perhaps, in there to grow. Oh, you're supposed to. Oh, you're supposed to dry them out first. Oh, that's so true. Oh yeah, I forgot about that whole aspect of it. Oops. Why does he keep going this way? Look at this thing. <laughs> who, who, who's, who is this? <laughs> who's this cute little guy? Hey, little man. You're just a little guy, aren't you? Just a little guy. You just a little guy? Bro, look how happy he is. What the hell? Literally just a little guy. You're not allowed inside, though, because you'll scare our cats. Where's Gary at? Where's Gary at? Oh. Can you bring, should you bring Gary over here real fast or no? He does not care. Okay, watch this. We're going to bring Gary over here. Yeah, they'll find him eventually. Here he goes. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Gary's like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> Gary doesn't give a shit, dude. <laughs> He goes, eh, I'm out of here. Gary said, nah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> he goes, no thanks. Oh, they're whistling for you. All right, Bailey, you got to get out of here. We'll be seeing you. See you later, dude. Bailey, you got to go. You got to go. Hey, he's over here. <laughs> yeah. He's staring at our cats through the door. He's staring at our cats through the door. I think he likes cats. I don't know if he's ever seen a cat before. Well, he just met one he just met uh, one of ours. He met Gary. Yeah. We gave him some water. How you doing? Bailey. Your dad's here. I started making one of these over at my house. Oh, nice. But these came out really good. Yeah, th those were here before we even got here. Yeah. 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 Bailey, come on. Bye, Bailey. See you later. Aw. <laughs> come on. Can you tell I've never had a dog before? What's that? Can you tell I've never had a dog before? Right. <laughs> come on, buddy. Let's go. Bailey, you gotta go. Come on. Come he's, on. So, he's so funny. He's so good. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, okay. No, wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you gotta go the other way, Bailey. We have to stop making the door look so fun. <laughs> Come on. Hey. It's okay. Go to your daddy. <laughs> there you go. Oh. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you go. Maybe you walk Sorry. over to him. Here, here, oh, Bailey. I'll Come close on. The door. Let me close the door. How does he come in? Does he come in? No, he just goes right through there. Yeah. Uh, he, he thinks I'm mad at him. Uh. Oh my god, that's so funny. Alright, ready? Ready? Yeah, it's it's almost done. Alright, it's 450. Yeah. Alright guys, time for some butternut squash. Would you look at that folks? Look at those. Best visitor in the garden so far. Blizz and Crispy will be hearing from you guys. Wow, yo, raw garlic is really weird. You guys down to look at Moo while we wait? She's just good. That's our little guy, Moo. Look at look how cute she is. Are you are you actually kidding me?
All right. All right, guys, here we are. We're gonna paint our butternut squashes. This is like a butter sage mixture right here. So I'm gonna paint this onto each of the slices, if that's cool with you. Oh, wait, wait, put the butter, put, wait, sorry. Oh, yeah, paint, yeah, paint that on first. Okay, painting it first. And then we're going to put brown sugar and then do it on the other side. So do that, brown sugar, flip, and then do it again. Okay. Okay. And then here, I'll hold, I could hold it. Yeah, if you want to hold it while I, when the show How them do I'm doing. How do you flip it? it? No, uh, oh, you click the top right and then go to a back camera. Okay. But make sure it doesn't. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Smells really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so then you're gonna do that, and then we're gonna sprinkle the the uh, brown sugar. Okay. That's hot. That's some hot butter. Yeah. Okay. And there's red pepper flakes in here as well. Yep. Wow. Okay. And then what? So brown sugar now. Yep. And then you're gonna flip it and do the same thing again. Okay. I'm gonna flip oh, okay. It. I don't. I don't want to keep it in there. Okay. Oh God, you put this in the dirt. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Is it? Uh, then you're gonna put it on the grill and five minutes and flip it every five minutes until it's brown and then it's ready. Do we paint the other side when it's on the grill? No, you're gonna paint it, flip it now and paint it. Okay, here. Here. Time to flip these slammers. And then here, I'll, I'll do Can't that. believe these were in uh, our garden. I know. Okay, chat. Uh oh. What? Why are you uh oh? I'm just saying uh oh in general. <laughs> it's a little. There we are. And this, this O right here. Nice. Oh, that smells so good. Dude, the brown sugar mix with this, it smells delectable, bro. You mind if I say that? I'm concentrating. <laughs> hey! Sorry. Okay. What? Why are you laughing at me? I'm concentrating. Well, because I'm holding a heavy iPad while doing this with my left hand. Here. Ow. Do you want to, that, that, that had seeds in it. You have to take the seeds out. These are like the edges of the squash that didn't have any seeds, so I didn't have to scoop any out. All right. All right, and then you could throw these on the grill. Toss them on the old slammer. Do you want a different tongs? Yeah, I do. Really? No, I don't need, I don't need to. <laughs> I mean, I could go get them, but. No, that's fine. Yeah, you, yeah, because you're scraping stuff off. Oh Honestly, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oh, oh okay, that works actually better. Much, much easier. Just flipping is you'll need the. Oop, got him stuck to the thing. Yeah, everyone's like, use your fingers. Way faster. No offense. Okay. Uh, 330, 322, and then we'll flip. Yeah, you could put them, they could put, be kind of near each other, that's okay. Helicopter! Helicopter! Alright, clo close. Close. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna save this because we're gonna pour that on the end. Good luck, have fun. Should okay. we flip them? Maybe, yeah. Oh god, it's so smoky. It's so smoky. It's so smoky. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's smoky, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I did. Sorry. I'm gonna flip one and see what it's all about. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my. Oh yeah, it's getting they're getting they're getting freaking rings on them. The lines there, yeah. That's what I meant to say. I got it. Holy shit! Wow. Wow, baby. Oh, yeah. oh, that one's gone. <laughs> and we lost one. Just threw it right in there.
We can still get it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's just it's gonna fine. it's just gonna burn. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. That, that one was weird anyway. It kinda gave me a weird eye. All weird right. Look. <laughs> you gotta keep chat you gotta keep chat on their toes, man. These, right. look, like, these look like uh, pineapples. Yeah, they really do. Do you think we're ready? I think so. Let's look at it. Right? Yep. All right, guys. Butternut squash looks like it might be ready to go. Oh, my. Oh, man. That looks good. I guess I didn't need this spatula, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my. And then I think we pour the rest of that on there. Reuse, reduce, recycle. And good. the cheese, too, right? Yes. Pour one out for the fallen squash slice. True. All right, those I'm gonna do for a few more minutes, but this is diet, so then, uh, wait, I have to read what it says. We'll let you guys know how these are. They, they look decent so far, but I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced until I try it. What's the magic potion you're dipping in? So it's butter, uh, red Brown. pepper flakes, and sage, yes. I believe. Yes. Yep. Brown, browned uh, butter. Browned butter. Brown butter. And then we're going to do a little of this here. Yep. A little Parmesan. And then we're going to try them and see how they are. Now these were, th this was, this was a butternut squash that was grown from our garden that we harvested today. So we're going to see how this is. And if it's tasty, I'll let you know. And if it sucks, I'll also let you know. Ooh. Hello. Why aren't you reacting? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow. That is not bad. That's really good. That is not it's perfect, bad. Perfect, like sweet, but the Damn. Parmesan is nice and the little, I don't even taste the spice. Look at that. That sage in there. Wow. <clears throat> really, really good. Oh my gosh. This, mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I recommend. That was a little hot, that one. Yeah, ow. Cool. I recommend making this. Wow. Really good. That's nice. Oh my goodness. It would definitely be good hot and cold. But it's hot right now, but I think it would still be good pretty cold. Like room temp even. Butternut squash, you guys, is, is the veggie. That's awesome. Wow. All right. Grilled butternut Success. squash. Yes, so good. Success. One of, one of the better uh, things we've, we've, we've done yeah. on the grill. I would do this again. Yeah, same. I'm going to let those... Maybe I'll, take, maybe I'll take those. The preparation wasn't too bad either. No, not at all. Put it in a burger. Mm. <gasps> Imagine this slice on the top of a burger. You, you know why it's good? Because it has like it has like a fruity vibe to it, but it still is salty enough where it still is a vegetable, so it's not too overpowering. Mmm, that was really good. Sweet. Good job. High five. Nice job. Shout out to Shan guys for doing the uh, the base of that. That made that made it extra tasty. That's gonna cook a little bit. The food's good. The haul is set. I think uh, we could probably call it there.